big believers in people talking to people. There's nothing more valuable than a human being talking to a human being. Let's take the member Bill Ayers, the domestic terrorist, okay? So Sarah Palin goes out there and says, Barack Obama doesn't see America like you or I. He's palling around with terrorists. Now, whether you think that's a valid argument or a silly argument, it was an argument nonetheless. And what we believe was that in a moment like that, far more important than what Barack Obama said about that, what Joe Biden said about that, or people like I said about it, was what Gary Miller from Anderson, Indiana, on the local diner who was supporting us, said to his neighbor, Mary Watson, who was undecided, and said, you know, Gary, as you know, I was almost there with your guy. I was almost going to support him, but now I think it's Harris thing, and it bothers me, and Gary walks her through it. Walks her through it. That's what we had out there. We had millions of Americans who were consuming our message and talking about it. And half of the people who supported us had never been involved in politics before. So if you're someone who has been active in politics in either party, you know, me, I talk to people, my friends, family, I think I have some influence, but they tune me completely out. They know <laughs> what I'm going to say. But if you've never lifted your voice about politics before, people will lean in a little bit more closely to hear what you have to say. Probably 20% of our core supporters were Republicans and Independents. So when they say, you know, John, I've never supported a Democrat for president, as you know, I've certainly never contributed to one, but I am this time. People listen a little bit more carefully. We still have that today. If all we did would have was have a few million people out there in their everyday lives who consume the message we're sending out so they can talk knowledgeably and effectively about Barack Obama's health care plans, his energy plans, his education plans. Think about the impact of that, because that's how people live their lives now. They don't sit there getting uh, news from ABC, CBS, and NBC every night. They get news online, they search for it, and they get it from talking to people. We saw this in the general election, time after time with voters. This is research where voters would say one of the deciding factors in who they support will be why their neighbor or their sister is voting for Obama or McCain. And they would say, I know my neighbor doesn't know the last thing about energy policy. In fact, I find him a complete blowhard. <laughs> but he sees things through the same eyes as I do. He lives the same kind of life as I do. This is a very powerful thing that isn't just happening as a result of our campaign. It's where our country is headed. As a, whether you're a political campaign, an organization, a company, if you rely on people consuming product or voting for you, to have those kind of real validators out there, uh, nothing's more important than that. Uh, we're also going to increasingly ask people to directly contact voters or and non-voters, because it's not an election, to talk about the president's health care plans, energy plans, and to build real support. It's not phony support where you said, we emailed five members of Congress today. You know, real support, so people understand what's going on and the stakes of the debates.